Tomorrow night, 48 Hours Mystery looks at a cold case that turned hot again after more than 20 years. The case involves a bite mark, a jealous ex-girlfriend, and a bombshell murder conviction. As Maureen Maher reports, the evidence led detectives to one of their own. It was a brutal murder back in 1986, committed in a daytime break-in in a quiet, gated community in Van Nuys, California. The victim, 29-year-old Sherry Ray Rasmussen, was a newly married nursing director at a local hospital. She was badly beaten and shot to death. I don't believe that you can understand the grief. I just miss her so much. Her shaken parents were convinced from day one that a jealous old girlfriend of their daughter's new husband had done it. But they say detectives ignored them, claiming their daughter was a victim of a burglary gone bad. No, they couldn't convince me of it. 23 years later, in 2009, the Los Angeles Police Department's cold case unit picked up the case. DNA tests on a swab taken from a bite mark on Sherry's arm yielded a bombshell that rocked the entire LAPD. DNA pointed directly to that old girlfriend, and the alleged killer was a cop. I mean, if you guys are claiming that I'm a suspect, then, you know, I, I got a problem with, you know, with that. Stephanie Lazarus, a veteran detective who had risen through the ranks of the LAPD, was tricked into undergoing some questioning. I mean, I'm shocked. I'm really shocked that somebody would be blamed, saying that I did this. She walked out, but was quickly arrested, handcuffed, and read her rights. You know you have the right to remain silent, do you understand? Yes. Anything you say may be used against you in court, do you understand? Yes. And Maury Maher is here live and in color. It's so nice to see you in the flesh, Maury. I know, good morning. Really, really good to see you. I always wonder about these stories when police officers are investigating and the mm -hmm. evidence turns to one of their own. Yeah, what that must be like for them. It's really tough. In this case in particular, the cold case unit was literally across the hallway from Stephanie Lazarus' office, and they'd known her for quite some time, yeah. so it was pretty tough for them to do this undercover mm -hmm. and, um, and then to take her down for questioning. It was hard. It was but, tough for them. But the, some of the evidence they had... The like, evidence is... For me, it's the strongest DNA statistic I've ever heard. It was from a bite mark that had been taken at the time that uh, Sherry's body was found. They took the swab. Clearly, the technology was not available at the time to do that DNA. But listen to the number. It's 1.7 sextillion to one chance that it was wow. someone other than Stephanie Lazarus. So that's 17 followed by 20 zeros. I was, I was wow. just, more, I know. <laughs> you were reading my mind. Sex <laughs> killing, I'm thinking, how many zeros is that? I, it's never been in a word problem that I've <laughs> yes. ever had. So no, I had sex to. Sex killing, yes. Yeah. So how did the defense deal with this? Well, the defense argued that the chain of evidence had been broken. When the evidence was found, the swab was in an envelope, two envelopes, one inside like a, a manila envelope, and the uh, tab on it had been broken. So mm -hmm. the defense argued, we don't know where it's been, it's been missing for a few years, we don't know who had it, and we don't know if it was tampered with, but it, um, it was pretty incriminating. The victim's family also sued the LAPD, as I understand they it. They did, because the father said from day one, we believe that it's this cop. He didn't know her name, but he knew that his son-in-law had dated a woman who was a police officer who was very upset about him getting married. And that was roundly ignored for years and years. So they sued, they were uh, very pleased with the end result of the trial, but they were still upset with what happened with LAPD. They felt that they had not done their job in investigating mm -hmm. this cop right away. Mm -hmm. The lawsuit was dismissed, but um, there's still another civil lawsuit out there against Stephanie Lazarus. Wow. Fascinating. Another fascinating case for 48 hours. Really good to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Maureen, thanks. You can see Maureen's full report, one of their own, on 48 Hours Mystery, tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS.